Hello there. And welcome back to another episode of Aesop's Fables. Today's story is of the North Wind and the Sun. Just as each person has a personality, each element of nature plays an elemental role in the universe. Where the sun blesses the earth with sunny days, the wind blesses the earth with a gentle breeze. Over the ages, the wind had steadily become more lazy. Some thought the wind to be jealous of the sun. For the wind, like the sun, decided to settle over one location, not realizing the world would miss its gentle breeze. The beings below became overwhelmed by the wind. Many beings died before adapting to the wind's change. One set of parents, though, handed down a magical scarf to their daughter. A scarf which protected the girl from the harsh wind. For this scarf was made of her parents' love of sunny days. Nothing could make her remove this scarf. No matter how heavy her life became, for the girl suffered through the education system beneath the wind. Besides her scarf, only painting warmed the girl's heart. Unfortunately, art could not grow beneath the wind. The girl could not paint for the world but instead was forced to labor at a diner. It was customary under the wind for a man to couple with a woman of his choice. The man only need shower his selection with far more belongings than any person should ever need. The girl was forced to marry. for the entirety of her life would be spent cooking, cleaning, and washing dishes for a man. Fed up with life under the wind, the girl climbed to the utmost high point of the town, where she could break down and cry. From the highest vantage point, she saw a sight never seen before by her young eyes. It was the sun. The warmth of the sun drew her closer with every ounce of light upon her skin. With nothing to lose, the girl freely ran and ran until reaching a majestic forest. Upon entering the forest, the girl was greeted by happy forest creatures. Embracing the forest creatures with open arms, rejoicing and celebration commenced in the girl's arrival. The man who lived within the forest welcomed the girl with songs, with stories, and with a feast of the finest fruits and vegetables of the earth. And finally, the girl's art could flourish and bloom beneath the sun.
Filled with exuberance, the girl pranced and danced and laid to rest a while after removing the scarf which had set her free. Under the sun, she lived happily ever after.